Finally, the most unique OS is here. The most unique OS in Android version 11 is now back with the update of Android 12. And as expectedly, it has a lot of things, a lot of improvements, a lot of interesting UI changes. Talking about the build, this is Descendant OS, which was one of the most unique OS in Android version 11. It's now available based on Android version 12. It's a little bit late, but yes, it's actually good. A lot of improvements, a lot of new things included. Let's just quickly talk, talk about the default things which you get here. It has a pixel launcher included for you. This is based on Android version 12. It does not have any kind of extra launcher or other launcher which has other customizations or etc. A normal pixel launcher, but you can use other launchers if you want to by using Madisk modules. The quick settings panel is now redesigned if you're able to see not actually properly redesigned but if you can see the edit icon is now at top which is in android version 12 it, it was at bottom but in descendant os you are seeing this at top you can customize these styles rows columns whatever you want to you can't actually adjust the rows and columns but you can see the data dashboard here settings icon the edit icon the wi-fi battery a lot more things are included in this and this is actually looking good one thing which is new here is called this kind of data dashboard or maybe something like you can see the apps usage or screen stats, digital comfort where you can see the screen notification, sleep notification, enable notification with tips when phone interferes with your sleep and some other things including that apps usage, interaction time, unlock count how many times you have unlocked your device, screen stats, active time and idle time. So yes, you don't need any kind of other apps, FKM or other things. It is about this one. And this thing is also something different here. Yes, you don't get in any other custom room so far what I saw. In gestures, if you have used any other custom room so far, in gestures, you don't have many gestures available or you can say some different gestures. We have gestures, magic, search call and pick up, answer call, media halting, which is as they renamed something like if you set the volume to zero and the music will stop and if you raise the volume, the music will start playing, resume and this is almost same feature but yes, they have a redesigned UI, something new, something different of course included here. The volume panel was quite great in Android version 11 and so as in Android version 12 too. If you check out the volume panel, you can see it's of course from Android version 12 but new animations and at center looks good, looks dope and you can see here the ring, vibration, whatever you want to switch to, you can do this and I think so. This is a very good move if you compare it with some other Android 12 based custom rooms. So far you can customize a lot of things, a lot of customizable rooms are available but this one is actually unique. If we move on to the settings and look for the features, Descendant OS always does not have many extra features or a feature hub or customization hub for you, but you can see the UI has changes. You can see the system where you have the backup etc. but you can see those top 4 tiles or top 4 options where the UI is redesigned and it is almost same like Android version 11. In Android version 11 you have this kind of UI and in Android version 12 they have implemented almost same thing which is actually looking good because the Descendant OS is and was always one of the most unique OS out there. Tried a lot of custom homes and Descendant OS was quite good, everyone knows that. Maybe in upcoming updates you will see some extra UI things what i am expecting so far this is the first build first initial build it's officially available for many devices if you move on to the display section you can see these four options first one is show battery estimates which means the last one is you can see at top of the status bar we have the battery estimate data dashboard which if i disable which is enabled from my case you can see the data wi-fi mobile data usage only notifications and as you can see this is how it will look like if you have notifications panel if you need a different separate notification panel or quick settings panel you can simply choose one between them or you can simply enable this option this looks better and yes this is something different compact tiles of course it will take some time to restart your system UI and you can see the compact tiles option in my thinking i don't think so it's looking good but if you want to use you can the option is present here monet personalization expectedly it is present there where you can use the other uh, other color options if you don't want the wallpaper theming that is by default available in android version 12 but if you don't want that you can customize other things you can choose in your wallpaper which color you want the asin color to be and like that you can even choose your custom colors all the options present here for you that is good 
everything else i've already shown you if you want to install this thing the official website link is in the description installation same like other custom homes you can't mirror the link by the way so yes if you have less speed just donate to the developers if you want to everything else i've already shown you if you want to install this as i previously mentioned the link is in the description this is all from today's short and simple video if you like this video don't forget to like and share this i will see you in the next video goodbye Over the edge feel like I'm floating through the air